So we were one of the very first crews to get on the ground and see uh, what's referred to as ground zero, uh, Mexico Beach with our own eyes. You know, roads, as you were just pointing out, because of the powerful 155 mile an hour wind, roads were impassable, power lines were down, trees were down. And so we were able to secure a helicopter really early this morning. I started here in Destin, and as we flew along what's known as Florida's gorgeous Emerald Coast, we started watching the coastline deteriorate from Destin, Panama City Beach, and on into Mexico Beach. And as we landed and looking at it all firsthand, you could tell quickly that it's virtually gone. From the air, it's clear. Much of Mexico Beach is gone. From the ground, we see up close the devastation to the seaside city. Home after home on this stretch of beach destroyed. While most of the 1,200 residents evacuated, a small number stayed behind. We don't know yet how many survived the near direct hit from Hurricane Michael. Scott Botwell didn't make it out in time. The bridges closed and he was stuck. How does it make you feel to look around at everything just leveled? Well, the thing is, you know, this is a small little town, you know, this is our little town. And so every restaurant's gone, every store's gone. And then all my neighbors, everybody's home is gone. And so um, it, when you think about it, you know, all of these, all of their lives are cold here, you know. So how do you, how do you, what do you do? Scott says he lost most of his possessions, but he will stay and rebuild. So the stuff that I thought I had. So the stuff that I thought was of value is even gone here, is that, you know, so anyway, it's hard to talk about. All over the area, we heard this constant high-pitched beeping. They are fire alarms buried in the rubble, warnings that perhaps came too late. Again and again, I heard from survivors here who told me they're simply grateful to be alive. These three friends were searching for one of their homes. It was hard for them to even recognize the street. <sighs> nope. There are just no, there are no words. No, there's not. There's so many memories here. This woman named Sherry says she didn't have time to grab anything but some clothes and her jewelry box. And to see this yes. feels like what? I can't describe it. It's just terrible. It's, I just can't describe the feeling, and I know I'm not the only one here that feels the same. They've lost everything. Mexico Beach is virtually cut off from the rest of the state. Though emergency crews are working throughout the area, roads are still blocked, power is out, and cell service is non-existent. Hallie, it's Mama. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. It, it was um, a lot more... A lot rougher than we thought. How are you guys? I got you. Our satellite phone was the only way for these women to contact their loved ones. I love you too. Bye. Oh, your You're daughter. Okay. Yeah. Oof. Best part of the day, Anderson, you know, connecting uh, these people. There's no cell service in Mexico Beach, so their loved ones, they see the pictures you, you have up on the screen and have been wondering if their moms, dads, sisters, brothers, cousins were alive, and so we're able to connect them and, and assure them that at least those who had chosen to ride it out are. Talk to Fire and Rescue, uh, six fatalities in the wake of this hurricane, but it's still so early. They told me that number will rise, Anderson.